He is the conqueror. We know the end of his story on the cross did not end in death. He was victorious. We have great hope knowing the whole story, past tense, the resurrection came. Tremendous joy came. He fulfilled the prophecies just as they were told, and he will continue just as it is foretold. I believe we are living in another piece of those prophecies now. What part of the story will we be? Stubborn like the Pharaoh near the first Passover when he lost his son? Trying to serve God and money like Judas before taking his own life? Prideful like Peter, thinking he could fix things himself before denying he even knew Jesus? We can choose now and determine in our hearts now and pray we are counted worthy now before we get to the hinge point. Let us learn from these stories. Know we will always have hope in Jesus in the dark times. Know that he will overcome. He has power over death. The resurrection shall come. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. But we do not want to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Caught up. In Greek, harpazo. In Latin, rapture. Amen. The resurrection is coming.